$5,000. That's how much the Port Authority plans to spend on bonuses for employees who get the COVID-19 vaccine. Public transportation workers are now eligible under Phase 1B of the vaccine rollout. And the virus has hit the Port Authority especially hard. Since the start of the pandemic, 433 employees have tested positive and four of them died. Channel 11's Mich Michelle Newell joins us live. Michelle, you found out it's not just the Port Authority that's offering incentives to vaccinated workers. That's right, Port Authority, they're doing everything to make sure their employees uh, are protected and get the vaccine. That's why they're offering that incentive. But it's interesting because I found a number of other companies who are doing the same exact thing. Our drivers are uh, obviously serving a lot of people. They come into contact with people on a daily basis. It's very important for, for, for them to be protected against the virus. And that's part of the reason why Port Authority is giving all employees a big incentive. So Port Authority is giving a $200 bonus to all employees. To get the vaccine. It's going to be about uh, a half a million to $550,000 total. And that's not all. Up to two days of paid time off for employees who experience any symptoms as a result of the, vac of the vaccine. Public transit workers in Pennsylvania just became eligible to receive the vaccine. They're in the public all day, every day. They should have been one of the first people. To Everybody should have some kind of incentive for getting paid. Amtrak is spending $3 million in cash bonuses to encourage its employees to get the vaccine. Employees who work for Allegheny County can receive $100 if they get the shot. And here at Target, team members can get up to four hours of pay if they get the vaccine. They can also get free lift rides to and from their vaccine appointments. Starbucks will give its employees up to two hours of pay time off for each dose of the vaccine. Even though these companies aren't requiring employees to get the vaccine, they are all offering incentives to employees who do, but they have to provide documentation that proves it. Back at Port Authority, the process has just begun. Nobody's gotten it so far, but I'm sure they will be. I know I'm going to turn in my card and, and get my 200, so I'm, I'm certainly excited. And you're probably wondering where Port Authority is getting all of this money from. They tell us they're going to get the money from the first or second round of the CARES Act funding to provide these bonuses. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News.